Good day everyone! I hope you are having a wonderful day. My name is Teacher May and welcome to our online escuela. Today, we will have our new topic. But before we proceed to that, let's have first a review test about the scientific method. We have five questions and you have 10 seconds to answer each question. So, ready your paper and pen? And let's start. First question. What is a scientific method? A. Ways scientists make problems and ask questions. B. Ways scientists never solve problems. Or C. Ways scientists answer questions and solve problems. Your timer starts now. Two, what is the difference between a question and a hypothesis? A, a question comes after an interesting observation and the hypothesis is an educated guess or answer to that question. B, a question is an unassumption and the hypothesis is the answer to the question. C, a question is what you end up with after the test and the hypothesis is a summary of the conclusion. Or D, a question is the summary of data collected and the hypothesis is the interpretation of the data. Three, how do you come up with a good question? A, by making an interesting observation. B. Assume that you know everything. C. By testing the data. Or D. From the predictions. Four. What is a hypothesis? A. An untestable statement. B. Whatever the teacher tells you is the truth. C. An experiment. D. Your best educated guess of what the answer to your question will be. Last question. How do you make a conclusion? A. You look at your hypothesis and choose which one you like best. B. You compare the data from your experimental results to your prediction. C. You keep making different tests until they show what you want to see. Or D. You guess what the results should be. Time's up? Let's check how well you remember and understand the lesson. You may check your own paper, but make sure to be honest. Question number one. What is a scientific method? The correct answer is... Letter C. Question number two. What is the difference between a question and a hypothesis? Correct answer is letter A. Third question. How do you come up with a good question? Correct answer? Letter A. Fourth. What is a hypothesis? Correct answer? Letter D. And last, how do you make a conclusion?
correct answer is letter B. Congratulations for finishing the test. Good job. I hope that most of you got a perfect score. Time now to proceed with our new lesson, which is the variables of experiment. If you may recall, experiment is an important step in scientific method. But what is an experiment and why is it important? Do you know? Very good. Experiment is important because it is a scientific procedure designed to test the hypothesis or make a discovery. For example, the phone, the internet connection, and the computer set that you have are all products of experiment. In doing an experiment, there are things to be considered. Those things are called variables. What is a variable? A variable is any factor that can change in a scientific investigation or experiment. In our discussion today, we will talk about the three variables of experiment. These are the independent variable or IV, the dependent variable or DV, and controlled variable or CV. Independent variables are variables you manipulate in order to affect the outcome of an experiment. Now, let's compare experimenting and making a movie. In making a movie, there will always be the main character. Independent variable can be considered as the main character in the experiment. Next, dependent variable. These are the variables that represent the outcome of the experiment or the factors that you observe or measure for your data. Going back to our example, independent variable is the main character in the experiment. Whatever happens to it becomes the dependent variable. For example, if the independent variable grow bigger, died, then Dying and growing bigger is the dependent variable. And lastly, controlled variable. These are the variables that are held constant throughout the experiment. Controlled variable are considered to be the supporting characters in the experiment. Now, let's have a concrete example. You are wondering... In which type of water do plants grow best? So, so you have here three seedlings of the same kind planted in the same type of soil and the same type of pot. Also, you put them under the same sunlight. But each one is different with the type of water they receive. The first one will have seawater. The second one is with mineral water. And the last one will have deep well water. All of them will receive the same amount of water. After three weeks, your experiment showed a significant difference in the growth of the plant. The one that received seawater showed no significant growth, while the one that receives deep well water grew a certain height with few leaves. But the one that receives mineral water grew best. It is the tallest among the three with so many leaves. Time now to identify the independent variable dependent variable, and controlled variable. Let's recall your problem. You wanted to know in which type of water do plants grow best. So, can you identify now what is the main character in the experiment?
very good. The main character are the types of water. We have mineral water, sea water, and deep well water. These are our independent variables. What about the controlled variables? What do you think are the supporting characters in the experiment? Remember, controlled variables are the things common to all or remain the same all throughout the experiment. Yes, correct. Controlled variables are the type of plant which is the same in all types of water, planted in the same type of soil and pot, the sunlight, and the amount of water. Lastly, what is the dependent variable? If we may recall, Dependent variable is the one being measured in the experiment. Whatever happens to independent variable during the experiment is the dependent variable. Remember what happened to the plants after three weeks? Very good. They grow at a certain height. So, our dependent variable is the growth of the plant. Another sample experiment. You want to find out if size of paper affects the distance traveled by a paper plane. During the experiment, you use the same type, color, and thickness of paper. However, the two paper planes differ in size. One is bigger and the other one is smaller. After letting them fly, the bigger paper plane landed first, traveling a shorter distance, while the smaller paper plane traveled a little longer. Again, let's identify the independent, dependent, and controlled variable. Our independent variable is the size of the paper plane, the bigger and the smaller paper plane. Our controlled variable are the kind, the color, and thickness of paper. And lastly, what happened to the two paper planes? Very good. They traveled in different distance. So, our dependent variable is the distance traveled by the two paper planes. Thank you for watching. I hope that this video is helpful to you. Please don't forget to subscribe. Bye!